We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Are you in Alf's ass right now? It's making me drool. Welcome to episode three of the Nerd Out With Me 90s cast, which was just introduced by Alf. <laughs> I'm Eric. And I'm Tim. Oh, and yeah, we are we are now uh, three episodes into our 120 episode journey. Three deep. Through the 1990s. We're now hitting March 1990. And for you people who are only just catching us, every week... We do another month of the 1990s, starting from January 1990. We're going to plow through the entire decade, talking about... What are, what are we talking about? Everything. Yeah. Music, movies, TV, pop culture, food. Da- food. Damn it with you with the food. <laughs> Video games, news, yeah, everything. Video games, news. Everything. Shoes. From the 90s. Shoes. Are we going to talk about shoes? Parachute too? pants. We de- Well, no, that's the 80s. Uh, Capizios. We could, but I don't want to talk about that. That's 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 that would be terrible. We're gonna we're we're gonna talk about all sorts of cool stuff for you people who are checking us out on podcast. Thank you. If you're watching us on YouTube, also thank you. You can also find us on Patreon, and if you are one of our Patreon subscribers, you will get bonus content, tons of it. You will get access to complete unedited video footage of the podcast, so you can see the long form version. Long, long form version. Fair enough. As opposed to the shorter episodes that we air, um, you also get bonus segments that do not appear on the regular podcast. Which but may include psychological, psychological nudity. Make, yeah, psychological nudity. <laughs> so, so uh, our, our, what are we dealing? We got March 1990. What are we dealing with today's folks? We got some cool stuff. Folks. I said folks. folks. I'm not talking to folks. I'm talking to you. <laughs> we have the finale. Of Alf. The final episode of Alf? Cool. What else, what, what else may we, we have? We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The uh, the very first live action film. film of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's kind of cool to talk about. Yeah, that's a big one. Super nerdy in a good way. We're going to talk about uh, Gorbachev being elected. Well, you know, be, uh, being elected as president of the Soviet Union in the fall of the Cold War. And just from a nerd nostalgia perspective what that was and for our patreon subscribers we're gonna have a bonus segment movies from march 1990 and some comic book stuff this was the worst intro yet <laughs> that's awesome we're only three episodes in and we're already <laughs> doing terrible intros which is as it should be fair so all right come back in a minute and we're gonna we're gonna have some fun we'll so, be back bye i'm stealing all our kitties i think we could use some help And quicker than you could say puss in boots, the saloon door swung open, and a tall stranger appeared out of nowhere. Thank you, Alf. (laughs) What? Thank you, Alf. Now, that is your childhood Alf introducing us, is that right? this was mine. Um, In March 1990, the final episode of Alf aired. Was Alf, like, a thing with you? Did you... No, here's the thing. I have an Alf. I only watched a couple episodes of Alf. Really? Yeah, I didn't really watch it that much. Alf was a family show for us. Okay, yeah, we didn't... For some reason, like, it wasn't the sit-around family show. We, we, we all totally watched Alf. We all loved Alf. I certainly loved Alf. Like, my younger brothers, I have two younger brothers, they both enjoyed Alf as well. Enjoyed Alf enough so that one year, some years back... And I still feel bad because this gift fell flat. But, um, <laughs> but, but, my young, but my youngest brother bought my son an ALF DVD set for Christmas. And he's like, I think he'll get an ALF. He should watch ALF. So he bought yeah. him the ALF DVD set. My Holds son, up well. My son was like, <laughs> yeah. And he was so disappointed. You know, like my brother was afterwards. Like, he, did he ever watch that? It's like, <laughs> no. What, what do you think? I, I don't think you could still watch ALF episodes. I, um, I have a, f- a friend who recently watched them and he thought... No, it still sort of holds up. I was going to say, like, should we explain what ALF is? But if you're listening to the 90s cast, you got to know what ALF is, right? And if you don't, it was a sitcom, situational comedy, with a alien puppet. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. That ate cats, or wanted to eat cats. He wanted, yeah, he wanted to eat cats, but he never actually right. he, he landed. It was like E.T., but funny. Like a sarcastic... E.T., wisecracking yeah. E.T. This was, and ALF was an 80s thing, right? Which is why... We're talking about now. This was the last episode, right? Wasn't the last episode widely considered disappointing? A, a lot of people were. I've had this conversation with uh, Bootsy Spankins. Bootsy Spankins uh, of YouTube and music fame, who was a huge Al fan. 
from listening to him talk about it because I have no real memory of the finale. I did not watch the finale, but I remember him saying it was a, it, it was a horrible ending because the whole time Alf like wants to go home and it's sort of like ET e. style again. Like ET, he's trying to like set up the thing to communicate to get right. back home, and in the end, like he's about to get home, but then some sort of task force comes and snatches him up before he like an alien task force snatches him up before he can get home. Yeah, like from what I remember, he 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 says his goodbyes and everyone assumes he's leaving. The whole episode is going as if he's gonna go, and that's the end. Right, and that all happens. He says goodbye, and, he's, and then it literally ends. With him being, like, apprehended. Isn't it like, like, let's say, r- like, right, you're watching E.T., then uh, E.T., I guess he starts to be a little sick or whatever, and then the government shows up. Right. Wouldn't it be like ending it after the government, like, what, the government shows up, they come in through the windows, and they're like, we're here, we're the government, and the credits yeah, roll. Yeah, it, it would be like, like either that or, or, like, him saying goodbye to Elliot, and the ship's there, and Elliot saying goodbye, and then the government showed up, blew up the spaceship, and took him away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. like, that equivalent. Like, oh, my like, God. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah, that's 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 that sounds wrong. And I could be wrong, but if I remember when talking to Bootsy, I think, and I'm, I'm probably wrong, but I'm going to say it anyway, I think they weren't <laughs> expecting it to be the finale. See, that so would make it sense. wasn't supposed to end that way. It was supposed to be, like, a to-be-continued until next season, and then it was canceled, so it makes you... Because people were so on the edge of their seat about freaking <laughs> Alf that they like they thought they could like lost it and just keep keep going on for forever like you know yeah because because back in in the eighties Alf was totally the lost of its time oh it was people were on the edge of their seat oh uh, yeah no I mean yeah. there's comments on their page about... yeah so yeah read read some of these these are comments that people have left on the Alf is there an Alf wiki this there's is, an Alf wiki this is an Alf wiki page there's an Alf wiki and these are comments that people have left about the final episode of Alf and this is kind of funny. This one is, I can't believe it ended like this. This show was a loving show and humorous. How could they let it end so darkly? Wow. Like, I mean, this person was devastated. And and, and mind you, this, I think this is important. This person wrote this in December of 2014. This lingered with this, this is, person. Th- this is like, like I was going to say, tw- this is like close to a quarter of a century later. And, that- and they're writing that. Yeah, what, what else we got here? They should be fired. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're still employed. They, they should be fired because he was supposed to go out with them, except they cracked their space code. I don't even... I don't know. I uh, a... <laughs> the alien task force should not have done that. <laughs> Sergeant and the other people should not have done that. They are really stupid. Why would they want to make a transmission do that? <laughs> not a good idea for them to reset the transmission. They, they were... were once a piece of crap. Sad. All right, I added the sad part, <laughs> but wow, that, this and that and that is that is from August of 2014. I love it. Well, I, I, let me read this one. This is I actually like this comment because this is clearly like a tech nerd, and I say that in a loving, awesome way. Maybe you guys should call it Ham Radio. When I heard the episode, he said he was trying to contact someone from Australia, but the radio sounded high pitched. That was good for them to send broadcast transmissions. This is like a Ham Radio nerd. Who's like He's just pissed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? How cool is that? That's that, why the internet is freaking amazing. Some like ham radio nerd is upset about the last episode of Alf. Stumbled upon the Alf Wiki page. Yeah. How to make his point. How cool is that? Like, that is why the internet exists. Mm-hmm. Is for stuff like that. Oh my god. That is also why nerddom is so cool. <laughs> like it's the best. <laughs> Because we are all, all of us are a part of that. Like, we all have slivers of that. Oh, God, yeah. Something. Not always the same thing. Like, for this guy, it's ham radio. For you, it's... It's, 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 it's little things in movies. Like, there's Fucking The Dark Crystal or something like that. Oh, my like God, that. yeah. Like, things that stick out that for, drive me nuts. For me, if you, you mispronounce, I don't know, like, a Middle Earth name or something. It's not even <laughs> that, but it's like, it's something. It's some, there's something that would set me off like that where I'm like, I gotta get on this wiki page. <laughs> For this guy, it's the last episode of ALF and the fact that it misrepresented ham radio. Uh, I love it. My father-in-law was a huge fan of ALF. He has ALF shirts. Really? ALF memorabilia all over the house. That's pretty rad. I mean, there's some people that really... It, it struck a chord with people. That's pretty rad. For whatever reason. Bo- like I said, uh, Bootsy Spankins. There's the people that just love it. I mean, I was a fan of ALF at the time. I loved it. I... Watched it as the you know with the family, I had a good time with it. It was fun, but that's insane in the best way. In the best <laughs> oh, way. Oh yeah, it's great. I love the fact that a quarter century later, it's a, like it's a section of the internet that you like just stumble upon. Yeah. And spend all your time reading the comments because it floors you that there's people that are still yeah. upset about it. So uh, we're gonna be back in a minute. 
minutes because we're going to talk about uh, the end of the Cold War. Only briefly, though, for you nerdy people, because we're going to talk about Ninja Turtles right after that. We'll be back in a moment. Oh, oh, we're rolling. We're rolling. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome back. We are here on the Nerd Out With Me 1990s podcast. I'm Eric. And I'm T. And uh, we're going to do a quick brief segment because I think, I don't know if people are going to be into this sort of thing. Maybe they will. I might be wrong about this. Um, in March of 1990, something pretty big happened. And if you were around at that time and you were old enough to understand sort it, sort of get it. And I don't know that either of us were fully old enough to understand it, but we sort of did. I, we were both we were both later teenagers at the time, right? Yeah, I, um, we were high we were in high school at the time. So yeah, in March 1990, Mikhail Gorbachev was elected as president of the Soviet Union, first ever president of the Soviet Union, first ever democratically elected leader of the Soviet Union. This was like a a sea change, right? This was a change in the yeah. in the the global climate in a huge way. I grasped it, and I think everyone our age did as well, just simply because you, we all grew up worrying about a nuclear holocaust. Yes, thank, we, you, thank you for saying that. And, yeah, where yeah. We, and where we lived in particular, I vividly remember as kids going, yes. uh, now if New York City, we live between New York City and Philadelphia, and if like New York City got bombed, we're only 70 miles outside, which means we would survive, but we would all be like burnt, our hair would fall out, and there wouldn't be we, any... Yeah, we like, die there of was, radiation sickness. Yeah, there was yeah, like, yeah. You, you don't want to, where you guys live is worse, because at least if you were closer, you'd just be fried. You guys are going to be surviving in this apocalyptic... Like, that was be, honest kid talk. Being a, being a kid in the 1980s was like... We were always taught that the idea that we could get nuked could happen anytime. Anytime, and there was never. And there, there was, remember there were movies like 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 the day after and, and stuff like oh, that yeah. that would like here's a special movie and that the whole nation watched like the day after. Yeah, the it was day like, after. Especially. Oh yeah, like like this could happen anytime. Like everyone could get nuked. Check it out, and we all totally believed it. Here here's the thing though, um, and I'm gonna I, you know what I'm gonna quote a video game for this war. War never changes. <laughs> because what is it right now, right? All all they have done is, in a very Orwellian fashion, all they did was they changed it from, well, it's no longer the Reds and the Soviet Union and nuclear war. Now it's now it's Muslims in the Middle East and terrorism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just, and it's, it's just, propaganda. And it's just the same old bullshit. Um, but anyway, I don't want to get into politics. But it is the same old bullshit, people. So I do want to say that, a little thing. That yeah, I, 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 I had a uh, Russian pen pal... For, ye for years. Really? Yeah. That's up, cool. Up until like two years ago. And I... Uh, Starting from when? <clears throat> I guess like 2009 or 10. Oh, okay. Start yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, so recent. Recent, okay. We would write back and forth and I would always ask them what their opinion was because they grew up on the other side during the 80s. We were the same age. Oh, that's cool. So I asked like, what was it like from your point of view of America? And it was funny because like, it wasn't even remotely the same. Like for us, it was like, they're going to attack us. For them, the propaganda wasn't the same. Like there was never they this were not impending... like, thinking like America might attack no, us at any moment. It's not like, at all. They were too busy like wondering where their food was going to yes, come from. Yes, exactly. Like she literally said that. We were just going about our life doing our thing how screwed up is that because we were so like busy like living living high in the hog they had to create a villain for us yeah and i'm so uh, <laughs> i don't need, i don't even and, i don't want to get us into that segue but isn't that what like is them, happening now and for them it was the fourth thing on their list because they were just trying to survive in this shitty regime that was you know yeah they were in like a broken a broken society That's so crazy. Yeah. And meanwhile, we were getting like constantly like movies and games and, and I, all that shit. And I told them about it. Like I explained, you know, I was like, oh, over here, it was like the constant like worry that we would. And, and their, her reply was, it wasn't a thing. Like it wasn't, there was no like impending Holocaust. We never thought that America was going to bomb us. And we never thought that we were going to bomb you. That's actually amazing to me to hear that. Because for us, I mean, and you remember, for us, it was such a, like, it was just part of life. Yeah. It was just what you. Yep. You just accepted it. To put this in context for, we have some like listeners and, and viewers who are a little younger than us, but not a lot, but like a little younger, who might not remember 
the the climate of the 80s. But you guys certainly know the weird propaganda videos from the 50s, duck and cover. Oh, yeah. I, well, I remember my parents telling me about having to hide under desks. Yeah, you, you know. Like you were going to survive. <laughs> there would be these propaganda videos like you would get under your school desk, and, and this was normal for them, right? Yeah. That's why these children are practicing to duck and cover just as you do in your school. We all know the atomic bomb is very dangerous. Since it may be used against us, we must get ready for it, just as we are ready for many other dangers that are... But the thing is that I think a lot of people don't realize, like, we look at those, oh, look at these quaint old videos, but that climate of fear we still grew up with. Like, that was part of us growing oh, yeah. up. Oh, like, yeah, definitely. Things kind of went crazy after the Berlin Wall and then the fall of the Soviet well, Union because America was like, we won! You And you... And, you tell me your, I mean, maybe your perspective was different, but I know for me, Gorbachev became like the first face of a region and a country that we were always taught was just this monolithic like enemy, right? right? The Soviet Union. So, and all of a sudden yeah, it was, all, yeah, exactly. And then suddenly it was Gorbachev. Oh no, he's a nice guy. We all like Gorbachev. And I mean, I certainly did. I think we all sort of bought it like, oh yeah, Gorbachev, like he's the guy. It just, it kind of fundamentally changed the way we see the we, world here in the States, at least. When we were kids, you thought everyone in the, the Soviet Union was evil. You realized, like, they were people. I guess that's the best way to describe right. it. Like, oh, now you're telling us that this Russian guy is actually good? He... And he's just some dude trying to do good for his country? <laughs> and like, oh, you mean all those folks, like, that we used to watch in movies parachuting in to invade our country? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, wow, that's funny. I thought that was going to be an incredibly short segment. <laughs> And I feel like I could keep going on this mm -hmm. for a while, but I have to cut it off because I don't. I don't think you guys are. I, you actually, you folks should tell us if you're listening and watching for this sort of thing. Like, or do if you, you skip past if you the like art it. history banter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously, do tell us because we're only just experimenting with this. We're just starting, so we actually really do need that feedback. You can email. email you can email us at, ner at us at nerdoutwithmeshow dot at gmail dot com. Yeah, if, if like segue, like segments like this are okay with you as well, in addition to the movies and toys and video games and all that shit. Um, so, nerdoutwithmeshow at gmail.com. Otherwise, let's catch up in a... What, what is our third segment about? I, I forgot. Oh, man. Uh, oh, God. Oh, we're Teenage Mutant out. Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant oh. Ninja Turtles. Yes, yeah, we're going to be back, y'all, with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in a moment. Hey, y'all! Welcome back to the Eric and Tig Show. In March of 1990, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the live-action movie, came out. Were you a Ninja Turtles fan at the like when this came out? No. So you didn't... It wasn't a thing for you? It, it was... My brother, my younger brother, was really into them and had all the action figures, and I remember playing them with him, but I, I, I didn't really care when the movie came out. It was horrible. Like, no, you know, it, no, 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 no. It was not horrible. It was, it was horrible in, like, the... No, it was not horrible. It was <laughs> awesome. What are you talking, even talking about? It was awesome. It was a terrible movie. No, 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 I mean, the costume is, like, so much better than the CGI stuff now. The costumes were so great. And that, like, weird rubber crap. And you could see, like, the mouth of the actor inside of that. Oh, so good. So no, good. it was good. I'm just busting your the Ninja The Ninja Turtles were rad. I liked the Ninja Turtles from all the way back in the day, like, when they were black comics, and white comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I grew up as a comic book guy. I know that you didn't. Which is unfortunate because in our bonus segment for Patreon subscribers, we are going to talk about some comic book stuff from March 1990. And I'm going to make stuff up and act like I know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's going to be terrible. But anyway... <laughs> I was totally into the Ninja Turtles, and when they were going to make it a live-action movie, I was skeptical. Because how could you How could you not be? Yeah. Right? You don't know what it's going to look like. Yeah. You're going to have guys running around in suits. And they, they tried Howard the Duck before that. Uh. I think the costumes were great. I thought the char like they got the character personalities from the cartoons were, you know, perfect. I think the 90, version, the 90 movie is better than any of the ones they remade recently. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Which... Is sad. And, and not because of the way they looked. I know that the new ones look horrible. They're almost like, they're almost unsettling. They gave them nostrils. Yeah, like the weird noses and stuff. It's weird. My thing is the movie from the original, the 90, nails the characters. Yeah. But the new ones didn't really. As a, as a, as a guy who started with the comics, the personalities uh, are credited to the cartoons. Like, right. In the comics, they didn't have like these 
distinct personalities like they did. Weren't they more gritty in the original cartoons? Yeah, and, and, well, in the original comics, they like legit killed people, right, right, right. and it was they were riffs on like uh, the, the Frank Miller Daredevil comics of the, the era, and some of those those gritty comics of the era. And they had like their sorting like putting swords <laughs> through people and there was like blood splatter and all that but it was you know it was black and white still but uh, yeah there were they were it was a hardcore stuff the art was awesome in those early yeah. comics so i loved the art i used to have a bunch of them but did you yeah. sell them yes oh come on i this this is a, this is like the mantra your mantra it's an ongoing oh, I have this great this is great thing tibs oh do you have no I sold them it's an ongoing story but I don't think it makes a lot of the episodes so it doesn't it doesn't matter now it will because the 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 podcast is just <laughs> unedited so now it will but yeah well yes my 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 big it's not you say mantra like it I don't no I I you know what there have been many times that you have talked about something I asked if you had it and you have gone. Well, I did, but I sold it. Yeah. I'm going to hang a sign behind us that says, I, well, I did, but I sold it. Well, all right. So here's here's the story, folks. Here's the story. Five years ago, I fell out of work. And so I went from having a good, successful career to having no work at all. And as people do, you get rid of all your shit. I, I agree. Did you notice my shirt? <laughs> I, was, I was like mid-word. I was trying to figure out whether or not I wanted the curse. And I... I I ultimately decided on the curse, but you know, it was like, it was one of these, I got a family, I got to take, so yeah. I had amassed yeah, all responsibilities. this responsibilities. I had all this nerd stuff that I had amassed over the course of three and a half decades of my life. I sold co- my, <sighs> my, most of my comic book collection. I sold my entire Dungeons and Dragons collection. Breaks my heart. Break it my heart. Oh my God. It was so amazing. Um, I sold all my vintage video games and video game collection. I had so many like consoles. All, everyone. Is, my thing so, is. Yes. You should have known we were going to be doing this show. <laughs> In all fairness to myself, even after the Great Purge, <laughs> which, which is known now as the Great Purge, even after the Great Purge, I feel like I've still left us. You do. I, I have to. Uh, I'm just. Uh, I'm busting chops because I, an we, attic of crap. If to, we to, did, a, if we did a, uh, and we, I'm sure we will at some point, a walkthrough of the attic. There is an amazing amount of stuff still to look at. It's crap. Not it's stuff. Not crap. crap. I don't crap. think it's crap. An amazing amount of crap. To, to... Eh, that's for the that's for the people to decide. <laughs> so, I guess we were talking about Ninja Turtles, weren't yes. we? Yes. So, uh, all right, who Let's who who was in this movie? Uh, Starring Judith Hoog, Elias Kotias. Oh, well, come on, you got to know him. Oh yeah. The, the... Yes, of course you do. Bring him up. Come on, you know him. He's, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. in everything. He's, what's his name? So who, he's who, a great character actor. Yeah, yeah. So who else was in the movie? That's really it. <laughs> it's really literally. Right, so who directed it? Steve Barron. No, Steve but Bar- Steve Barron. I, what else did he direct? I was gonna say he's done tons Holy of crap. Music videos. Yep. Take on me. Yeah. Steve Barron. All Money right. for nothing. Dire Straits. Wait, let me just go through it. No, this uh, this is pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah. The director of the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie has directed the music videos of, right? We've already talked about Take On Me, Aha. Uh-huh. Brian Adams, Cuts Like a Knife, Dire Straits, Money, Money for, for nothing. nothing. Like the videos that people would know. Like okay. Money for Nothing. Money yeah, for everyone, Nothing, which that's, is huge. That's two huge videos. Money right Money for Nothing is like probably one of the top five videos of all time. And Aha uh-huh was ranked number two best video of all time. Only number two to Thriller. Of all time. Yeah. Holy crap. What else? Electric Avenue? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> he did. He did. The We're video. gonna rock down to Electric Avenue. Avenue. He did Human Man. Don't you want me? Wow. Don't you want Holy me crap! Me. He did Burning Up Madonna. He did Billy Jean. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? That was a huge video. The Billy Jean video. Bill, the Billy Jean video, like with the step, the steps, the walkway with the light up yeah, steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like that's it. Yeah, that was a big deal. That's it. That's music video. I can't believe that I. Holy crap! I'm blown away. This guy did like like four of the five yeah. like biggest video music videos of all time. So do you think? So he did the. But he I'm, did, I'm freaking blown away right now. We we did not. We clearly did not research this before before we sat down. As is That's, tradition. Yeah, that is a, that is amazing. <laughs> this dude did he do movies though? Okay, so no. So this is the thing. So basically, he did all those videos and got. To direct this movie because you know what I mean, like yeah. that's what happened, right? And then he made this, and then what they else said, did he do movies wise? Oh, Coneheads, he directed Coneheads. That's it. Slingers to Roadhead, Treasure Island, TV movie. 
What? <laughs> he had a weird what? career, a very strange career. What right? an odd career. This so this dude did uh, did many of the greatest video music videos of all time. Yeah. I want to know more about this man. I don't know. I feel like someone's gonna like come sweep in and correct us to tell I, us the true I, story. Because if that is all true, that is the most amazing career. Because the guy was like involved in some of the greatest videos of all time, well, and he, then disappeared. I all don't right. know. I mean, he's. It looks like he's produced a lot of things overseas. All right. So you look up that stuff. We're gonna move on to the next segment. I think. We're going to move on to the next segment. Yep. Though, I mean, we barely talked about... Didn't we? I don't know. We talked a lot about Ninja Turtles. How much more are you talking about? It was a great movie. 1990. It's not, not, you know not. what? Go to the sewerden.com and ask Jay-Z about it. Fair enough. <laughs> Works for me. Come back in a couple minutes, and we are going to... Uh, we're going to tell you why this show is great. Scene rushes direct from Hollywood of pictures being released in the coming weeks. And we're proud to announce that this theater will soon bring you the greatest array of pictures ever to reach our screen. We just uh, we just wrapped uh, episode three. Of, wow, that was quick. Of uh, the Nerd Out With Me 1990s cast. Sort of wrapped episode three. Because if you're a Patreon subscriber, you get bonus content. So hopefully you enjoy that bonus content. But otherwise, Tig, what did you think about our third foray into this absurd... Uh, land of podcasting, podcasting. That's the French way. That's the way they say it in France. Pod- Pod- podcasting. Uh, I thought it was exactly what it always is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you get your money's worth. I don't. Hmm. If you think about it, I don't. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't know that that sounds like complimentary talk. <laughs> um, you get what you get. And it you doesn't can't sa- get upset. It doesn't sound like complimentary talk, but it sounds like fair talk. I think it's fair. It's very fair. Now we're three weeks into the show. We're three we- three episodes into the show. We have now what, um, 117 left to do. Everyone knows you can comment on you know on YouTube at Nerd Out with Me. Yell at us on Twitter. Nerd Out with Me. Nerd Out with Me. Facebook slash Nerd Out with Nerd Me. Nerd Out with Me. There's even a website. There's a Nerd Out with Me website, and you can reach us personally. At least me personally. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, yep. but. EricSanJuan.com or EricSanJuan at gmail.com or Twitter slash EricSanJuan. Not on Facebook. I don't do that. But if you, if you write to Eric, just make sure you use a lot of profanity. So, um, hey, I am Tig. And I am Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just confused everyone. <laughs> I am Eric. And I am Tig. You've been listening to the Nerd Out With Me 90s cast. Thank you for listening. And we'll be back next week with April 1990. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message.